Introducing a practical guide to fence building from Gallagher, the company which has been leading the world in advanced power fence technology for over 50 years. Farmers are always looking for ways to lower costs. This applies particularly to fencing. Many farmers know that because of major advances in equipment and technology, power fencing is the solution. The materials in this fence are around half the cost of a comparable old-fashioned or non-electric fence, and the fence can be easily built in a fraction of the time. With wires positioned correctly, farmers have successfully controlled most types of animals, from domestic livestock to feral and predatory. This video is designed to assist you in erecting a Gallagher power fence for effective pasture management and animal control. Once you have positioned the strainer post and rammed firmly into place, select a suitable breast block and ensure that it is laid square to your intended fence line. Mark the front of the face with your spade. Remove the soil in preparation for the placement of the breast block. Ram the breast block home, ensuring that it is a firm fit. The top of the breast block should be at least 100 millimeters or 3 inches below the ground. Repeat this procedure at the other end of your fence. Ensure that both end assemblies are straight and in line. Using a Gallagher pre-drilled insel timber dropper, mark the desired wire spacings on each strainer post. You are now ready to tie your first Gallagher Super Strain Insulator. First, tie the wire around the post. Ensure that the insulator is positioned no more than 200 millimeters or 6 inches from the post and tie off using at least 5 twists. It is important that the pull is from the center of the insulator. Repeat this procedure for all 5 insulators at both strainer posts. This end shows another Gallagher insulator, the high quality porcelain bullnose. Now you can run out the first guide wire. Tie off at each end, again ensuring that the strain is from the center of the insulator. Here it is important to leave a long tail which is required later in the fence construction. Repeat this procedure for the second guide wire. Using the Gallagher permanent wire tightener and rapid handle, tension the wires taking care that they're not overstrained and insert the locking clip. Next, lay out the required number of Gallagher insel timber posts and droppers. Using the Gallagher insel timber post rammer, ram each post into the ground. The specially designed rammer enables you to easily ram the post to the correct depth. Secure the wire with the Gallagher insel timber post clip, which allows the wire to remain free running. In hollows where it's necessary to anchor the fence, one of two types of tie-downs can be used. 
If selecting the screw and tie down, a length of 4mm stainless steel wire is tied and fed through the handle. Screw this assembly all the way into the ground. Remove the tie-down handle, leaving the wire and anchor firmly positioned in the ground. Attach the dropper to the second guide wire using a Gallagher insel timber dropper clip and secure with the Gallagher wire twisting tool. Note that this tie should be free running to ensure that the dropper remains upright. Insert the tie-down wire into the bottom hole of the insel timber dropper and tie down securely. The alternative to the screw and tie down is the insel timber tie down. This is driven into the ground at a 10 degree angle using a Gallagher insel timber driver cap and rammer. Again using 4mm stainless steel wire, tie down securely. Run out the remaining three wires, tying off each wire as you go. Then towards the center of the fence, proceed to strain each wire. Again, be careful not to overstrain, as this could reduce the life of the fence. Ideally, wire tighteners should be positioned diagonally, approximately 30 centimeters or 12 inches apart. The next step is to install the remaining insel timber post clips and secure. Now, install the remaining droppers and dropper clips using the tight tie method to ensure that the dropper stays at right angles to the wire. Now you must connect the wires in parallel. Attach the Gallagher joint clamp to the second wire. Now connect the tails from the top and the third wire using the Gallagher joint clamp. Ensure that this is firmly tightened. The excess wire can then be wrapped and broken for a smooth, tidy finish.
Position the Gallagher cutout switch on the inside of the post and attach using two screws. Taking the tail from the second wire, form a loop and fasten securely to the base of the cutout switch. The new Gallagher cutout switch has been re-engineered using the latest technology materials designed specifically for use with today's high power energizers. On the fourth and fifth wire form a loop using the long tails. Attach the Gallagher flexible connector and secure. This will allow easy disconnection of either wire during periods of high vegetation challenge. Attach the incoming power to the top of the cutout switch using the Gallagher double insulated under gate cable. Your completed end assembly should look like this. Parallel the top three wires at the other end of your fence using the same method, which will now look like this. This cost effective Gallagher 5 wire insel timber fence has been quickly erected using a minimum amount of effort and equipment. Using the correct construction methods, a Gallagher power fence forms a strong psychological barrier which enables you to effectively control most types of animals. Because of Insul Timber's unique self insulating properties, no other insulation is required. Insul Timber is backed by Gallagher's unconditional guarantee of quality. An alternative fence material is the Gallagher Fiberglass range, which is available in a variety of lengths and sizes to suit all requirements. Gallagher's unique patented fiberglass clip is quickly and easily installed by squeezing and sliding onto the pre-marked positions. Gallagher fiberglass clips are available for both the 10 and 13 millimeter posts. Position the fiberglass post in the correct position and hammer into the required depth. Ensure the Gallagher fiberglass driver cap is used. Attach each wire in the clip. Finally, lock each alternative clip in opposite directions to reduce wind chatter. In hollows, use a screw and tie down by attaching a length of 4mm stainless steel wire to the anchor and feeding through the tie down handle. Screw this assembly all the way into the ground. Remove the tie down handle, leaving the 4mm wire and anchor firmly positioned in the ground. Thread the Gallagher pressure plate onto the fiberglass dropper and place over the stainless steel wire. After positioning the dropper to the required depth, tie down securely. Again, attach wires to the fiberglass clips. Position the desired number of droppers between the posts. Again, ensuring alternative clips are locked in opposite directions. Using the correct construction methods, a Gallagher fiberglass power fence provides a strong psychological barrier which enables you to effectively control most types of animals. As an alternative method of construction, use a wooden post and Gallagher Long Life Wood Post W 
or pinlock insulators. Attach these after marking the desired wire spacings using appropriate size, preferably barbed staples positioned diagonally. Ensure that there is room for the insulator to expand and contract. The Gallagher protector fence system using electrified offsets can upgrade, reinforce and stock proof existing old fashioned or non-electric fences and effectively add years to their life. Gallagher has a number of offset options to choose from. All of these are quick and easy to install. To assemble the popular Gallagher plastic insulated offset, simply clip the wire bracket into the insulator. Ensure that the wires are crossed to positively lock the insulator in place. Attach the bracket at the desired height, then secure the wire using the pin provided. Another option designed for wooden posts or rails is the Gallagher staple on offset, which you simply hammer in and staple for extra stability. The highly visible Gallagher pigtail offset is another alternative. You simply hammer in and staple. These are available in two lengths to suit all situations. Another option is the Gallagher fiberglass offset, which is available in a range of lengths. Install these either onto the side or the top of wooden posts as required. Ensure that you use a Gallagher fiberglass driver cap Attach the wire to the unique fiberglass clip. Another choice in offsets is the Gallagher porcelain offset bracket. Simply clip into place, ensuring wires are crossed to lock in the insulator and attach the wires at the desired height. Our fencing is totally reliant on an adequate earth system. Without it, the fence will not be fully effective. Gallagher recommends the use of three 2 meter or 6 foot galvanized rods driven into the ground, preferably in a damp area, 3 meters or 10 feet or more apart. If using the Gallagher M4000, a minimum of 8 rods must be used. Earth clamps must be tight. The best earthing is in continuously damp soils, which are not always available. The Gallagher Super Earth Kit is recommended in all regions where soils tend to be dry and non-conductive. A stainless steel rod is placed in the center of a 7 cm or 3 inch diameter hole, 1.2 meters or 4 feet deep. A powder which retains moisture is mixed into a slurry and poured into the hole. It is then topped up with coarse sand or gravel. The earth wire is clamped to the top of this protruding rod, which results in an earthing system that really works. When it comes to effective operation of your fencing, a Gallagher voltmeter is essential for testing fence voltage. The digital voltmeter can be used two ways. Firstly, it enables you to check the voltage at any point along the fence. Secondly, it's used to measure the effectiveness of the earthing system. These steel stakes are used to short out the fence 100 meters or 320 feet or more from the energizer and the earth system. An earth peg driven to the ground a meter or 3 feet or more from the earth system should pick up no power or a reading below 300 volts. A high reading indicates that the earth system requires further improvement. For more information on fence construction or specific components, Refer to the latest edition of the Gallagher Power Fence Manual.
or contact your nearest Gallagher Powerfence dealer.